Hey everybody, welcome back to the Four String Strummer, the channel that's all about ukuleles. Today we're going to learn how to play Rocky Top. I'm going to teach you on the banjo ukulele, but you of course can play it on whatever kind of ukulele you want to. So, grab your ukulele, make sure it's in tune, and let's get started. Okay, first things first. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to cover off the chords, number one. Next thing we're going to do is I'm going to teach you the strumming patterns. There are three of them. Then we're going to play the song through slowly. And then we're going to let her rip full speed ahead. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so the chords here, I'll put the charts up for you. First chord is going to be C. And then we're going to have an F. We're going to have a G7. And then we're also going to have an A minor. We're going to have a G. And we're going to have a B flat. Okay, and that's all the chords we're going to use throughout the whole song. Okay, so for the strumming patterns, here we go. I'm going to teach you three different ones here. Uh, the first one is going to be basically just sort of a boom chuck kind of a sound. If you guys have been on this channel before, you know I use this quite a bit, especially with this style of playing. And all it is, is the thumb here, and then you brush it with your fingers. Just like that. So you hit your thumb on the top string, and then you brush the rest of the strings with your fingers. Okay? So, in terms of the timing, both parts of the strum get an equal amount of time. So it's like one, two, one, two, just like that. Okay? Think about it in terms of, we'll call this the paintbrush strum, okay? Paint, brush, paint, brush, paint, brush. Both parts of the words get an equal amount of time. All right, and you can play the entire song just with that paintbrush strum, and I'll show All you right. that in a minute. The next part of the strumming pattern that you can use is uh, taking that strum paintbrush, but then you're cutting the brush part into two parts, okay? So let's call this one sledgehammer. So this is how this one's gonna go. So it's sledgehammer, and you're coming back up. So it's hammer, like that. You're going with the thumb, just the way you did on the paintbrush strum, then you're gonna brush the strings, and then you're gonna come back up again with your thumb. So the second part, the brush part, gets cut into two parts, which is now hammer. Sledge, hammer, sledge, hammer, sledge, hammer, sledge, hammer. Okay, so, before we go any further with strumming patterns, let's just try the song. We'll just try one verse, and I'll play it through with just the paintbrush strum. And this will give you an idea of what it sounds like. And if you're just starting out, and you just want to try it, this is a great way to start. Okay, we're just going to take it slow here. Here we go. Well, wish that I was back on Rocky Top in those Tennessee hills. Ain't no smoggy smoke on Rocky Top. Ain't no telephone bills. Okay, so you can play the whole song like that. Obviously, you know, if you want to pick up the speed a little bit more, but that strum works great. All right, now let's take a look at the sledgehammer. So here we go. Let's try it with sledgehammer. All right, same thing. We're just going to play one verse. Here we go. Wish that I was back. Now, what you can also do here is you can start to mix those two different strums together. So you can do maybe the first part with just the paintbrush strum, and then if you want to start to add in the sledgehammer strum, that's good too, okay? And that just varies the sound up. I'll just show you real quick here how it goes. All right, so I'll just start with the paintbrush. Wish that I was back. So you can hear 
how at different parts of the song, I just threw the thumb in there, did the sledgehammer, went back to paintbrush. It just kind of mixes up the sound a little bit more so it doesn't maybe sound quite as monotone kind of thing all the way through the whole song. All right, let's start the third part of the strumming sequence now. All right, so if you want to take it another level up, I'm going to just play this and I'll show you what I'm doing. This is basically what I call chord bouncing. I don't know if there's a real name for it, so I just made one up. And all I'm doing is I'm pretty much just doing hammer-ons with the chords. Okay, I lift my hand, my fingers right off. I'll just play it. It's easier to hear it and see it than try to explain it. Here we go. is it just adds a little bit of extra oomph to the to the sound okay it gets those strings ringing it kind of gives it that sort of old time almost like a claw hammer sort of a sound with a side order of um you know five five string uh picking bluegrassy kind of a thing okay here's how we do it okay <clears throat> let's take a closer look so for this strumming it's basically you're starting still with the thumb okay have this C chord or whatever chord you're doing um, in place on the second down okay it can be in place on the first down because it doesn't matter because I'm only hitting that top string down down so it needs to be there for that down then down up down up down down Now what I'm going to do, I'll just play it through a little bit again for you so you can hear what it sounds like. And then we're going to play the entire song through slowly. All right, here we go. All right, sound good? All right. Let's try the song through. We're just going to take it nice and slow. Here we go. Okay, so I'm just going to concentrate more just on the first two strums, the paintbrush and the sledgehammer for this for this part. So we're just, again, we're just going to take it nice and slow. Here we go. Wish that I was back on rocket top in those ten. Sea hills ain't no smoggy smoke on rocky top, ain't no telephone bills. Once I had a girl on rocky top, half bear the other half cat. She was just as sweet as soda pop. Still dream about that rock it top, you'll always be home, sweet home to me. Good old rock it top, rock it top, Tennessee. Oops. Once to the strangers, climbed old rock it top. That's why all 
real speed okay full speed ahead tune i love that song it's so much fun to play stick with this strumming thing and listen i'm going to put up here a tutorial that just deals with strumming it's about a 15 minute video or so it goes into lots of detail on how i go about this strumming etc so if you want a little extra you know remedial kind of strumming tutorial check this one out and if you want to see some more banjo uh, ukulele stuff that you'll really enjoy this little light of mine give that one a whirl as well lots of fun any questions at all drop it down into the comments i'm always more than happy to help you out and until we see you next time keep smiling keep strumming and have fun bye for now